All right, skill number 11, uh, graphing uh, linear equations using uh, intercepts, in particular the x and y intercepts, uh, as easy points to calculate and uh, use to graph these uh, two linear equations, which we'll graph as lines. Uh, so you can make an xy table or an in-out table um, and um, just find uh, these two key points. You want to know when x equals 0, what is the y value? And when y equals 0, what is the x value? Because when x is 0, that means you're someplace on the y-axis. That's going to be your y-intercept. And when y is 0, that means you're someplace on the x-axis. There's your x-intercept. So if you put into this equation x is 0, negative 3 times 0 is 0. It's like this whole term goes to 0, and you just have 4 times some number y, it makes 12. Well, that y value has to be 3. So when x is 0, y is 3, because negative 3 times 0 plus 4 times 3 equals 12. Uh, if y is 0, and you put in a 0 right here, 4 times 0 is 0. So this whole term is 0. So negative 3 times some number x equals 12. That value of x has to be negative 4. So those are your two intercepts. So label them down here. Your x-intercept is when y equals 0. So that's at this point. Uh, negative 4, 0, and your y-intercept is when x equals 0, which is 0, 3. And we'll graph those two points and uh, draw that line. So here's negative 4, 0, right here. Here's a 0, 3. And uh, if I just rough sketch of that line, this is what that line looks like. Two easy points to find, and that's the equation of that line graph. Uh, last one, if I make an xy table and I just want to find intercepts, x and y, so 0 and 0, 0 for x and 0 for y and find the missing x and y values. If x is 0, that's like putting a 0 right here, so the opposite of some number, which is y, is 7, so that y value has to be a negative 7. Uh, if y is 0, that's like taking x minus 0, which is like saying x is the same as 7, so there's my missing value. And then graph those two points. 0, negative 7 is, this is negative 6 and we're counting by 1's, this is negative 7. And then 7, 0, if this is 6, this has got to be 7. So uh, connect those two points of the line. Um, this is the graph of that line. Looks pretty close to that. If I had a ruler, it'd be straighter, but that's good enough for now. So my x-intercept is when y equals 0, where I cross the x-axis, so that's this point, 7, 0. And my y-intercept is when it crosses the y-axis, and that's this point, 0, negative 7. So make sure to label uh, down here what the x and y-intercepts are. You have to know which one is which uh, for this skill. So study those uh, two uh, in and out tables uh, and graphs. And then here are two problems for you to try. So two equations, graph both of them uh, using x and y intercepts, and pause the video, work them out, and then uh, check your accuracy. All right, I'm assuming you worked out these two problems. Let's see um, if uh, we agree. So first one, I want to graph uh, this by only using two points, x and y intercepts. So when x is 0, I'll find y. When y is 0, I'll find x. If I put into this equation x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. So I have 0 minus 5y equals 10. Well, the 0 won't affect the minus 5y. So something times that negative 5 has to make 10, and that would be a negative 2. Uh, if y is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, so this whole term goes to 0, so something times 2 makes 10, that x value has to be a 5, so those are my x and y intercepts. When My x intercept is when y is 0, so that's this point, 5 comma 0. My y intercept is when x is 0, and that's a 0, negative 2. Uh, likewise, second one, x and y values, when x is 0, find y, when y is 0, find x. Uh, if I put in x is 0, this whole term, negative 3 times 0, goes to 0, so I just have y equals negative 6, so there's one point. And then uh, when y is 0, if I put in a 0 for y, plus 0 is just the same as negative 3x uh, plus 0. So negative 3x has to be negative 6, so x has to be 2 to make that true. So those are my two points. Uh, my x-intercept is when y equals 0, so that's negative 2, 0. My y-intercept is when x is 0, and that's 0, negative 6. So graph each line. These two go together for the intercepts for this first equation. So 5, 0 is this point. 0, negative 2 is this point. So connect these. Uh, this is the line for the first equation. 
And uh, for the second one, negative two, zero, and negative two, zero is right here, and zero, negative six is down here. So connect these two, and this is the line for the second equation. And um, you have the intercepts labeled down here, the table's done, the graphs look good. That is the end of skill number 11.